What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today is move-in day. Not only is move-in day, it is remodel day. So we've got to get this whole farm kind of back to sorts as it were. What we need to do is we need to place down somewhere with a workshop. We got to get a house. We need a sheep pasture and we need a chicken coop. We need to get some stuff to do grass work. Now, what have we brought over here from our other farm? Well, we've got our gator. We've got 6M. We've got the 1455. Oh man, I love that tractor. And to give us a little bit of hand today, what we've got is we've got our Optum and this guy. Just for a little bit, we're not gonna use it the whole time. This whole field is going to be done and then we're gonna make all of the land around here grassland because we need grass, that's right. Now this is our own private road so we don't have to worry about any traffic coming up through here. So we are good. First things first, we need a shed with a workshop and I know exactly which one I'm gonna get. We just got this, uh, what about a week ago, something like that this guy right here so it's got a workshop inside which is so cool and I've decided that we're gonna put it right here we got to get it lined up just right and then we've got to get the land let's see do we want to bring it down or do we want to bring it up I guess it depends on where the ground is isn't it about right there maybe something like that I hope it deletes the grass under it oh here we go five four three no oh, no Double check the back. Back's good. One, go, click. All right. How, wait, no, that's not where it is. I've lost my bearings. Here we are. Okay, not too bad. This is, uh, well, actually, this is exactly what I wanted. This is perfect. Nice. Next, let's come through here and let's kind of do a little bit of, well, ground maintenance, more or less. We need to find this texture right here. So we're going to go through... Is this it? Yeah, maybe it's something similar to it. Regardless, this is good enough for us for now. Was that right? Oh, I don't know. I think I messed it up. I hope not. Nope, nope. That that was it. Yep, yep, yep. yep. We're good. So we do want to keep a mix of concrete and dirt and everything, but I want to make it look a little bit nicer around here. I know it's our second farm and whatnot, but nonetheless. So now we have that done. Good, perfect. Next. We need a house. So we have sold the house that was on the other land. And we're going to go with this guy right here. Yeah, I have not used this yet. So we're going to use it here. And I understand this is, uh, well, it's going to be kind of interesting to place this because there's nowhere around here that looks right to have a house on it. So it's like, well, where do we, where do you put it? So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it right here at the end. I mean, it's a trailer. We just need somewhere to sleep. That's it. So we find our, our height where we want it. And five, four, three, two, one, boom. And then we go double check it, make sure everything looks good. Cut our light on here. It is getting a little later in the day. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now what we got to do with this. So we got to get in here with grass because otherwise that's just going to look bad as it already does. There we go. See, aren't you happier when you got grass around you? Boom. Just like that. Now, we will come through and give it a little bit extra dirt, but I think, again, for now, for now, everything looks just fine. Make sure it works. We're not tired. Perfect. That worked. Hey, that's two things off the list already. Now we need to get a large sheep pasture. Now, when we came in... Before we started this series, I sold the sheep pasture and the horse pasture that were here. So we've got area to do it. So what I'm going to do is where the large where the large horse pasture was, that's where we're going to put our large sheep pasture. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Large sheep pasture. There it is. We're going to bring this down here, and we're going to flip it just like that. And then this is the tough part because it's how high do you set it, right? So we're gonna try and just kind of guesstimate center. About right there, I'm happy with that. And again, let's jump in here and start making this look good. Now this is gonna be a little bit easier because what we can do is we can find our dirt. 
which is right here, and just kind of beeline around it almost. Just like so. And now, once we get this kind of beeline around, we can make that a little bit larger. We can come through here with a much, much bigger piece, just like that. Perfect. Now, the reason that I'm showing you guys all this, you probably, some of you may be saying to yourselves, ah, come on, DJ, we, we know how to terraform. We know how to do all this. Well, some people don't. And I have a lot of people, whenever I don't show how I do all this, I was planning on just doing all this off, off screen. But whenever I do that, some people say like, oh, well, how'd you do that? I want to see. So this is for you guys. There you go. So now we have a large uh, dip, pick, pick, dip, chip. sheep. Yes, sheep. we have large sheep. And now all we need is a chicken coop. So we're going to put the chicken coop where the sheep pen was. We're going to put it right here. Boom, right there. So there's here's the issue with this, is we've got to get it high enough to where the triggers actually show, just like that. And again, coming through to make it look nice, painting straight up, up through there, down the back, and around. That way we can get food in and out and all that good stuff. Whatever we need to do, we can do and we won't have to worry about it. Can I get all that organized in the front? There we go. So now we have transformed already this entire setup. I'm very happy about that. I'm actually really happy about this. Now, we've got a couple other things that need to be done. First off, this field right here, I don't know what I want to do with it. I don't think I want to keep this as a grass field. I'm not even 100% sure I want to keep it as a field mainly because we have this field here. It is nice and square and it is good and I like a nice square field. And this field is gonna be our grass field, our big grass field. Well, this one and this one. However, this one doesn't really have a place. It doesn't have a purpose. So we're gonna plow it up and leave it for a bit. And we may plant barley or wheat in there, something like that, maybe wheat just to feed the chickens, you know, just to plant it every once in a while and get it done. Of course, we do have a small little garden over here, which is nice. It's all good. Heck yeah. Not too shabby for a bit of day's work. No, oh, about a third of a day's work, actually. We've still got more work to do, but what we're going to do first is we're going to fast forward a little bit of time. We are going to take a little nap, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. It is harvest time. We've got some oats right here that we need to do. And the great thing is, it's not a huge field. I think that we can knock this out on our own, no workers, pretty darn fast. Especially with the headers that we've got rocking. Now, whenever we start getting a little bit of extra cash, a little extra money on this side of things, I will be getting some different um, headers, header things? Yep, harvesters. That's the one. We're going to be getting some different harvesters because I just don't uh i just don't think this is quite the size that we need to be rocking with this small field so we've got a small john deere we've got a small case we've got options so let me know down in the comment section below which would you rather see on this farm more would you rather see a new john deere or would you rather see a new case harvester now of course those are going to be the end game versions you're going to get the uh with the case oh gosh i don't even remember the number so <laughs> maybe we should jump in and actually look at these so we're either looking at the John Deere T560 or the Case 1660 Axle Flow. One of those will be the next harvester for this farm. I'm thinking the Case, but nonetheless, let me know down in the comment section, what would you pick? Which one is your favorite out of those two? Nonetheless, this ain't going to take much longer. It's actually taking a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. So... Let's finish this up, then we've got to go plow field, and we've got to get the field beside that planted. So let's get to work.
Now that all of that is complete and finished, we find ourselves in a crash. Come on, one episode. <sighs> Hashtag he did it. He crashed. Oh, he did. Man, dang it. <laughs> I was trying to go one episode not crashing. Legit, I was trying hard. Here's the thing. We've got $106,000. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's be honest. That's pretty decent. Well, what do we have? Let's take a look. Because our animals are good. The ones that we've got. But we need more. We need chickens. We need uh, sheep. We've got 72 pigs when we bought 25. We've got 28 cows when, again, we bought 25. We've got a lot of slurry and a ton of milk. And, again, plenty of slurry to get rid of. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's take a look at some prices here first. Let's go over and look at milk and let's look at slurry. So milk right now is running $2,800 at ranch. That is just stupid price and I love it and I want to go get it. Unfortunately, we can't sell slurry because we don't own anywhere to sell it. Which means we're going to have to buy the BGA. Now the BGA costs $227,000. So the slurry does us no good unless we own the BGA. We can't sell it anywhere else. And there's our dilemma. What do we do? Do we go buy it? Do we take out a loan? Is that what we spend our money on? I don't think so. I don't think that we do that at all. I think the slurry, just let it accumulate. Let it rock, let it roll. We get 800,000 liters in each one. We're barely an eighth of the way there. So that's what I'm saying we do there. Now, oats, we're going to have to get these sold. We're going to have to go make a little bit of money on these. We got $9,900, something like that. This is going to be the fun part because we've got to finagle this guy in in a way that it wants to sell it. Oh, there we go. Going in. Let's make sure. Let's double check. Where's our oats at? There we go. They are going up. Actually, no, that wasn't oats. Those are barley. I thought those were, I could have swore that was oats. It said oats. I'm telling you, it said it was oats. Anyway, so that's barley. More freaking barley. Great. Oh, man, oh, my. Is that good? Done? Empty? Good? Finished? Yeah, there we go. So we can get this put away. We don't need this any. Oh, we're going to crash. Don't do that. Come on, one episode. There's that. There's that. Boom. We're done. What do we need? We need our tanker. Nope, that's not the tanker. We want this guy right here. We're going to go get milk. Oh, yeah. We're going to take the milk, and we are going to sell the milk, and we shall be merry. Turns out, we had this thing full of water, so we have reset it, brought it back, and now we're back at the main farm. Now we need this milk because this price, oh my gosh, the price is so good for milk right now. So we're good, we've got that, and milk, 261,000 liters. I don't know if we're going to sell all of that, but I know we're going to be making roughly about 60 plus thousand dollars every trip, and that's a whole lot of money not to just be like, oh, sell it, sell it, sell it. Not only that, it's selling at ranch, which is, where's ranch? It's down here. So it's kind of close-ish, nonetheless. Let's head over to the ranch. Now, how do we get there from here? Let's see. We can get there a couple different ways. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to head straight. We're going to go up by the top end of our field here. Let's go ahead and make our way turn out of here. Maybe not hit this car. There we go. We out. We are out. We are good. I got to keep this big. I got to keep this big darn map out so we can see exactly where we're going. Man, I tell you what, we could definitely use a bigger semi-truck. This thing is pulling heavy. Um, let's see. Take a left here. And straight. Now, we're going to be going way over there, but unfortunately we can't just prance through. we got to go in the right way. How do we get in there? Uh-oh. Um, wait, is there a turn up here on the right? I think... I think we can use this turn on the right. Can we go right here? Will this work? Is that a dead end? It's a dead freaking end. Oh, come on. So we've got to go 
Oh, no, never mind. We're good. We're good. We can turn here. <laughs> I about made an oopsie there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. All right. Let's get the rest of the way over there. Oh, yep. There's another crash. Come on, man. Let's see. Um, Is there a train coming? There's definitely a train coming. We don't want to get hit by that thing. Goodbye, train. Perfect timing, huh? Cross the tracks, and we are up the hill trying. You know, it's funny. I was planning on taking this and bringing a bunch and selling it. Just sell, 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 sell. That's going to be a problem because it is all the way out here. Especially with this truck. It just doesn't want to do it. Period. Doesn't want to do it. We may have to find another way to sell the milk. It's not a problem. I'm down for it. Let's see. Should we have come through the top or is this okay? I think this might be okay. And this is our sell point right here. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky. I think we can make this work. And sell the milk. Money's going up exponentially. What are we going to get? Right down to the bottom of the wire. Here we go. 92000 thousand dollars that was 32 liters 32,000 liters we have 200 and some yeah i'm gonna do this a few more times so we did three sales we are up to three hundred and eighty three thousand dollars we made about 276 278 thousand bucks just doing what we were doing not too bad gotta be honest with you that ain't too bad that ain't bad at all Let's get this moved around. We did put some water in here now. So we've got water for the sheep. Let's bring this back right here. There we go. And turn it off. Let's hop around. Let's buy some sheep because that's exactly what we want to do. Is this, uh, is this the buy point? Yes, this is the buy point. Now, the question is, what sheep do we get? Now, we've gone with all white sheep. We've gone with brown sheep. We've gone with black and white sheep. We have never gone with black sheep. So buy, buy, black sheep it is. We're going to buy eh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, mm, 50. Boom. There we go. Not too bad. Quite a few. Let's jump around here. Hello, little baby sheepies. Hope you are good today. Now, we can empty the water out. I don't know how much water they're going to take. Can't be too much. Yeah, they're not going to hardly take any of this. What, 10,000 liters, maybe. Is that about right? Oh, yeah, are we right on? We're right on. 10,000 liters. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come by me, y'all. We've got that. Now we need... This is where it gets tricky. Because now they need hay or grass. Guess what we don't have? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any grass. We don't have any hay. So what we've got to do is we've got to go and we've got to get bales. And when we get those bales, we've got, got to feed them the bales through, uh, oh my goodness. So we're going to have to go buy some bales back over at the store. What we've done is we've picked up this little booger right here. It's a kind of a nifty, uh, nifty little thing, if you will. So what it does is it holds round bales. That's right. Holds round bales, which is exactly what we've got over here. Now, unfortunately, these are not kind of, well really set the way that I want them to be so we're gonna have to pick up one uh maybe oh come on don't do this to me there we go we got one now all we got to do is get the second bail and then what we could do is we can carry these back over with us now this should be good at least for the first little bit for the first about I don't know half day day or so we may run into some issues with them needing more food. Um, unfortunately, I just don't think there's much we could do about that right now. Come on, rally! Grr, rabble, rabble, rabble. Back to what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by these bales being stoppy. Oh gosh, are we going to lose them on the way over there? I should have definitely not got this version. We Get out of here, birds! We should have got the other one. Oh, come on. You could do this. You could do this. Go through, baby. Yeah! So what we've got again is we're going to go take them, these two hay bales right here. The sheep will be nice and happy at least for the next little bit. Enough time to where we can get a hold of some hay, maybe some grass, something like that. They don't need both. They just need one or the other. That is it. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If not, please subscribe. You guys knew 
that I was going the wrong way this whole time. Got my back all the way up here. Make sure, make sure you drop a hashtag go away fam in the chat right now. You guys know what's up. Oh, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. Got to make sure we can get in here and actually feed them these. Wow, these are bouncing around. This is not not what I want at all. Slowly. <laughs> Come on, baby. Just bring them over here. That's all we got to do. Bring them over here and make them disappear. Boom. 8,000. I'll take it. Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.